Welcome to my bathroom, everyone. Uh, it's Eva from Bohemian Crafting here. Uh, and I'm coming after a few days apart from YouTube to share with you something what I should learn right from the start when I started to make junk journals. And I hope this will be inspirational for many of you who never tried to do their own paper. This uh, I should learn right from the start because through the times, uh, through all those years, I saved so many offcuts and cutouts and strips and scraps. And I still have boxes and bags everywhere with all kinds of scraps and uh, I need to somehow use them. I know I will never use them for uh, my journals because it's not just possible to use all of these scraps and create some clusters or decorative elements. So I decided lately that I will be strong on myself and I will choose some of these scraps and create my own paper. And I have to tell you that it's so amazing to see the result of this uh, of this work. Uh, once you will have your first sheet of your handmade paper, you will be so happy. I, I promise you, you will be very, very happy. Uh, there is many amazing tutorials who can help you to uh, understand what you should do. Here I am just showing you what I am doing. Uh, I cut and ripped pieces of the, these offcuts and old book pages on very small pieces and I let them soak in the water over the night. There are all kind of book pages, newspaper offcuts, uh, any kind of decorative paper of cuts. Really everything what I found uh, on my table right now, it was quite a lot. So I place it to to the water, to the bow and uh, to the water to soak through the night and uh, I'm going to make a paper pulp out of this. I'm using a blender, just normal kitchen blender, just this one. It's separate. Uh, I'm not using it for cooking anymore. It's just for making my homemade paper. I'm blending these uh, little offcuts in that blender and then I'm putting it into bigger water spa and making that paper pulp or paper bath. bath. I don't remember all these words which you should use to describe what I'm doing. So I hope you will just enjoy to, to watch me <laughs> while I am creating my own papers. And uh, this has a reason that I went back to kind of like basics to making junk journals. Uh, I had a <laughs> quiet, disappointed last three months. Uh, my my amazing Patreons, they, they helped me to go through and I'm still not over my dis huge disappointment. Uh, I had a dream since I was a small child when I was seven years old, I, uh, our village was selling uh, old village house, old village pub with cinema. And I do remember I asked my parents at that time if they will lend me money for that house, that I wanted to buy that house for myself. And I told them once I will be old, once I will be uh, not old, but big enough to make my own money, I will uh, get this money back to them and uh, pay them back anything what they will lend me. Uh, and I think since I was seven years old, I had the dream that one day I will have my own house. Uh, we traveled this year uh, in the March. We traveled back to Czechia for a reason, not just to sort out my documents, but also sort out uh, forms to ask for mortgage for one house we choose to buy. It was old, quite destroyed, but uh, really beautiful or with great possibility house. So all these last three months, we worked so hard to get that mortgage. We got all paperwork. We, we went all through to all these things you have to do to, when you are asking for mortgage. These last three months was the most close I ever was to get that dream come through. Unfortunately, uh, or my first trying to get mortgage for that house was declined because uh, my earnings are not enough for Czech bank to get mortgage. 
So I hope that uh, we will make more money and we will ask the second time uh, in two months from now, in two months to get that mortgage together with my sons. Unfortunately, that house was sold and uh, because it was for a good price, which we can afford. So my dream kind of went down very quickly. And last two weeks I was in, in a really... I was crying like like small baby nearly every single day, but all the time I had to take off uh, some time from my daily work because I wasn't able to concentrate. It was just a huge crash on me. Uh, and it, just because of my Patreons, they know what is happening in my life all the time because I'm sharing everything with them. I think sometimes they have to have a really huge headache from me, but they are always so kind and supportive and, oh, mine, I can't say enough how much I appreciate these strong people who are helping me go through to my my ups and downs. So because of my Patreons, I'm kind of getting back to positive thinking it's I'm not definitely there yet and Debbie wrote it really exactly how it is to to be strong uh, it's not always so easy and it's very exhausting I am I feel so exhausted I I think I can't go more than I did the last 40 years and it's just you know when you are so close to your dream when you I thought I'm nearly, I felt like I'm nearly touching the walls of our house, of our first house. I was in that mood that I was just, just so close to touch the, the walls of our house. And when you got this huge disappointment, when you know you did your all best you could, it's get you down even if, if you don't want to. And this is actually what I'm doing to get me out from that huge disappointment, from crying all the time. Because, yes, I do cry every single day and I'm trying not to. But it's it's just something what I've been hold on for many, many years. I know there will be, at least I hope there will be better house and it will come to me. But right now it's so hard. You know, we've been living with my sons on the street uh, 20 years ago. Yeah, I've been already a single mom. I uh, didn't get any alimony. Um, I didn't get actually any any help from my family because they was thinking I choose the guy who, who was father of my sons, so I should work it out myself. So... Um, because I've been very tight with my money and uh, I started to believe to wrong people. I thought that they are my friends. Unfortunately, they wasn't my friends. They just, they just uh, used or exploit the situation in my life. And they uh, fraud me for my last money and I didn't get help from anybody else. So... We end up on the street with my sons. And uh, with all that, the, all this came into my mind. Yeah, I'm still not not over properly, but uh, these little techniques, these simple techniques, and kind of in my mind clearing my space, I hope this will help me to go through, and I hope these basics will also show me better direction in my life. I always made sure that I will make money for somebody else. I always make sure, made sure that I will be profitable for somebody else, for somebody I'm working for. So I think this huge disappointment should be, should show me that uh, I know how to work hard. I always did. And right now it's time to start to work hard for my family, for me for my own dream. So uh, uh, I really hope you will try to create your own paper because it's so relaxing. It's it's amazing to see what you can do with very ugly water, <laughs> with this pulp. And it's so amazing to feel your own 
made paper. Even if, if is it from old papers, you will grab around your home. But to feel the result of your work, it's awesome. So I'm going to put some nice music in the end of this video. And I hope you will enjoy it. And I'm sorry for my mumbling, but sometimes it's good to explain uh, why I am not on, you know, here for you, why I'm not showing uh, how I am continuing with my journals. It was just because I had a really hard time. I I do apologize. I know you've been waiting for more videos. I will get there. Just please bear with me. Um, this was just, uh, it was just my, my oh, it was just so hard for me. So thank you so much for coming, uh, stepping by today. Thank you so much for listening. And thank you so much for all your amazing support to my YouTube channel. Uh, I appreciate that so much. I really do. Have a wonderful day. If you are in hard time, make sure you will get out of there somehow. Cry if you need. I do cry. I always feel a little bit closer to the positive thinking when I do cry because I've been so down. So every single time when I cry because I, I feel so pity for myself, I, I'm going to be honest here. Yes, I've been in that, in that mood that I felt so pity for myself and I forgot that there are people who have a much worse thing to go through. But it's always the same, you know, you, you need to work with your own pain the way you can at that moment. So yes, I've been crying so much, but every single time when I've been crying, I felt after, I felt a little bit better. So for all of you, I know life sucks. I know life can give you a really hard time. But if you can, work it through. If you can, let your body leaking out through the tears, all that pain. I don't know how to better describe that, but let your body get that pain out of you by tears. It helps. It helps so much. And I wish you all be always strong enough to work through to hard times, to have always amazing friends around, like my awesome Patreons, to give you good advices or just listen you and be there for you so i wish you all the best and thank you so much for stopping by <laughs>